All right, doing some dry fire transitions here with the rifle, basically on hard mode. Um, lights, laser, uh, suppressor, not anything out of the ordinary, but these things do make the front end of the rifle heavier and make things like transitions, precise transitions, a little bit more challenging. Uh, typically what you see a lot of people do, a really common thing is push rifles around and this type of rifle or, or rifle configured like this is just gonna punish you when you do that. So what I mean is like people will take, you know, either their support hand and shove or they'll do things like, you know, shove with their hips because we've been told that since the Magpul days, you know, point, point your hips at the target, uh, things like that. And I think, you know, the, one of the bad things about that is you're not prioritizing what it takes to do precise, fast transitions, which is vision. You're just prioritizing some sort of weird mechanic um, that typically doesn't work because the rifle is gonna go by the target before you um, you know, actually land it in the center of the alpha because you'll shove so hard, it arrives like that. So like you go by the spot and you overcorrect and it finally comes to a halt. What you see with, uh, or a trend, I would say, you know, with people that do that, is you'll see them shoot either really crappy points or they get to a target and then have to do what looks like over confirming to finally shoot alphas or good points, whatever. Uh, neither of which I think is good shooting. A really common thing, common trends on targets, if this is you, right, you'll see bullets essentially, especially on targets like this with hardcover, you'll see bullets on either side of the alpha. Um, or you'll see targets either, you know, say, say they're alphas, they won't be in the center. They will just be on the corners of the alpha or on the line of the hardcover inside the alpha. And you might say, hey, Nick, that's good points. I agree, that is good points, but when, when you're training, you need to be assessing trends on your targets. That would be a very common trend if you're seeing bullets on either side of the alpha. Pretty much every single target, what I'm looking for, especially on ones like this, is a cluster of bullets centered like where I'm looking inside the alpha. I wanna see a trend like this, not on either side of the alpha. I would call that bad. I would also say that you need to be paying close attention to stuff like that. Um, if that is you too, like if you're seeing trends across the target, what you could be doing is just looking in the general direction of targets. If you just look in the general direction of targets, the gun does not have anything to, you know, basically stop on. And what I mean is like, if you look to a spot to bring the dot, the dot will come to the spot that you're looking at. But if you just look in the general direction of the target, what you'll notice is the dot just streaking across the target because there's nothing holding the gun on that target. It has to be a visual thing. Transitions have to be a, a very, very visual thing. So um, what I look for when I'm doing dry fire transitions is how is the dot arriving on the target? Um, especially when I have heavier front ends like this. It, again, it's super challenging when the front end gets heavier like this. How is the dot arriving on the target? Is it, you know, kind of sh just streaking across like we talked about before because I'm doing things like looking in a general direction, not picking a spot, or maybe I'm pushing on the gun with my arms or my hips or something like that, like placing mechanics over the visual piece? Or is the dot just coming to the spot that I'm looking at nice and precisely? When that happens, you guys will be able to shoot way sooner in your live fire. Like if you just bring the gun to your eyes, like you're gonna shoot way sooner and it's gonna be way, way, way more controlled, I promise you. Like your transitions will be a whole lot better rather than shoving the gun around and feeling like it's fast, but it's really not fast. Or you're just gonna shoot really crappy points, either one. So try to give you guys an example of um, how it would look, right? If I'm gonna dry fire this, I've got two open targets and three hardcover targets. One of them is pretty punishing. There's only like a sliver of alpha sticking out. So like you really need to have your eyes on that target and try to make the gun just come to the spot that I'm looking at. There we go. Pick up the speed a little bit. go kind of shoved a little bit but it was like on either side of the alpha that's what I'm talking about not good there we go came to a complete stop in the center of all of them there we go hopefully that helps you guys out and um, 
if you have any questions on rifle transitions, especially with, you know, LARPing guns like this, <laughs> drop them in the comment box below. Always happy to answer them for you.